All right, so this should be the start of part seven, I think, that we are on. I did not think these videos were gonna go this long, but I guess I sent out a lot of cards. So we got here August, August, April 16th out of West Palm. So not sure, I feel like this is way too late for spring training, but this could be JT Real Muto because I just sent him a card not too long ago. So hopefully, but what kind of a side thing I thought was hilarious. I ordered a card off eBay and I've gotten card orders before where people use like filler cards that are basically older baseball, football, basketball cards, whatever, um, that aren't worth anything just to kind of like bundle together with whatever card you got for protection through the mail. This guy kind of did it next level. <laughs> he like cut them up and like taped them in and then the card I got was like in this Wait, where was it? Is that, is actually this Justin Twine card trying to see if we get him on a hammer as a sign it was like this taped in in an envelope which I mean the card got here safe that's all that matters but uh, I, that's, I've never seen that I've seen where like people stack the cards around it kind of but never that but I thought that was kind of funny so Let's see what we got. Actually, maybe it isn't. Because I haven't sent out um, cards with these kind of envelopes. This might be one of the first cards I sent out then. Because I haven't used envelopes with this. I don't know. Let's, we shall see. So let's see. Okay, it's not JT because I feel two cards. So let's see what we got here it's sign of black I think these are Bowman oh cool so Washington National Will Crow to PJ Will Crow that looks really cool oh I did both of them yes wow I was not expecting that at all where does he, is he from here? Well, I mean, he's born in Tennessee, so that doesn't really... Unless the, that doesn't really make sense on how it would be postmarked from whatever, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they have any teams there at that ballpark of Palm Beaches stadium. So this kind of threw me off, but that's interesting. Thank you, Will. I have to do some Googling to see what this really came from. Because, I mean, I did send it to the ballpark in Palm Beach, but um, it's weird that you get a card back this late, I guess. Maybe he works at the stadium or something? I don't, I don't know. We, we'll have to see, but uh, not too worried about it because that looks pretty sweet. Thank you, Will. Also, I forgot to mention what that filler card thing. This card was in there. I have no idea who he is. He's a damn Jet. Jets player. But I did a quick search and he does sign. So maybe we'll send that out and see what happens with that. But for now, thank you, Will. These came out pretty good. Well, really good. And like the black to me matches with the card. Maybe the blue would match the hat, but I don't care. Whatever. Looks cool to me. Thank you. Okay, so another return here out of Los Angeles. April 2nd, I think. Let's see what we got. Kind of feels like one card. Not sure if this is like spring training and the player person took it back. I did send a couple cards. For some reason I had. Uh, I forget what they were. To Los Angeles Rams. Some football. But, uh, no clue. We got, what the heck? What am I feeling? It's like tape. Oh. It's like tape. So this is an early one, then, because I used the tape. Tom Kohler! Yes! I was hoping this. Hell yeah. So see, I like, I taped this to the, this is one of the early 
early. Wow, I should look when I sent this one out. This is like one of the first ones I sent out. Um, I was like putting them in a sleeve and then taping them kind of to the note I wrote. But sweet. I liked him. No longer a Marlin, but he's on the Dodgers. That looks super good. That's a that that could probably be one. I know I was saying that Juan Soto one I liked a lot, but this one pretty awesome. I believe he actually lives around my town. What's this one? Series two? I have a couple. Let's see if I still have it. Okay, so originally I wanted to be a little bit risky and send this bad Larry to Tom Kohler. I'm not sure, I've had this a while and I did buy it to get him to try and sign it during spring training while I was a Marlin, but guess what, he gone. And this is, what is this, Topps Chrome? I'm not really sure what, it's like some kind of gold, is it like ice thing, but it's a five of five. And I was, I was like, I probably shouldn't risk it. It's not valuable card at all, but I mean, there's only five of these. <laughs> but that is pretty sweet. I should like hit him up on Instagram or Twitter or something and be like, yo, whenever you're back in town, I got this sweet card. But that is awesome. Thank you, Tom. I wish you were still on the Marlins, but hopefully he pitches well on the Dodgers. I'm not sure. He might be in the minor league now of Dodgers. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen much about them, but this is pretty sweet. I'm going to have to try again because I got a couple more of his cards and love to get them signed. So that's pretty sweet. So it's a few days after getting the Tom Kohler card back, and hopefully I can edit this incorrectly. Uh, I posted it on Instagram, and I tagged him in, and I was like, thank you, Tom. I miss you, and I'll still take you fishing, because I believe he lives around Jupiter, or Palm Beach at least, but I believe he lives around here in Jupiter in like the off-season and stuff, and I think so does Logan Morrison. There's another guy. Anyway, I said that on Instagram, and he didn't like the picture, but he commented back maybe on it, so I thought that was funny, and I was like, so you're saying there's a chance. So, who knows, maybe we could have a uh, Fishing with Jupe series and Tom Kohler, which would be kind of funny. I highly doubt that at all, but I thought it was funny that uh, he commented back on the Instagram picture. So, thank you, Tom. Okay, so we got a good batch of letters here. So, we got two, two out of Miami, which I'm going to open right now because the suspense on it is killing me. Um, Birmingham, Alabama, I believe that says. Kansas City, and Tampa. So, also, one bigger one here, which should be an 8x10, and judging by the postage, $1.42, should... So I only sent out three 8x10s, and I think I know which one that is, because the other two went to Canada, and I doubt that would be the postage. So let's see what we got here out of Miami. Not sure what. Could be Marlins Park? I don't know. Whoever sent this back put tape on it, which is kind of nice. I did send a couple. I saw a really cheap, cheap team set of Florida Panthers. And I sent several that I, I think people have reported that they did get back. But I feel like those would be marked Fort Lauderdale and not Miami, but I don't know. We shall see. So let's see what we got here. But, oh, well they returned us a note, but I see the card. Let's see, upper deck. So this should be hockey, I think. Jamie McGinn, McGinn. Oh, awesome, that turned out sweet. Awesome. I did write a little note. Let's see what it says. Awesome. Thanks for your support and kind words. That's pretty sweet. So maybe this other one will be hockey. 
I'm hoping at least one of these was Marlins because then I will know I'm sending, I can kind of see it through the <laughs> envelope. And it's definitely hockey. <laughs> yeah, you can totally see the outline of the player and stuff. So, okay, they're both hockey. So that's awesome. I don't watch that much hockey, but um, I try to watch some. I didn't make it to any games this year, but I will say hockey, without a doubt, is the most exciting sport to watch live, like at the game, because those guys are nonstop. That's actually pretty incredible that they can skate and hit each other and hit the puck for almost no break. Let's see who this one is on the Panthers. Colton Sevier, if I said that correctly. I think they put my letter back in. Yeah. So I like, so when they leave like the my note like in the envelope, I feel like that means they didn't read it or anything, but whatever, I guess. So sweet. This, I was going to say this is our first hockey return, but I remember we got the Red Wings guy, Kevin Hodson, back. But this is pretty sweet. Panthers, Jamie McGinn, McGinn, and Colton Sevier. It's pretty awesome. Because I was like, why not give it a try, you know? I sent a few more out, but that's good. A couple of them got back, and I know they were... I guess the season just ended, so maybe they're like, yo, dog, I got you. Send it back. That's awesome. Thank you to you both. All right, so got two more in today that are unmarked, so that'll be kind of interesting to see. Put those at the end. We'll open up the Birmingham one and put these aside, and also my 8x10 that I'm not... I kind of think I know who it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll do that last. So let's see what we got out of Birmingham. Alabama, I'm not too sure what this will be. Though so I'll probably remember it once I see whatever it is. Probably good enough. Okay. Got, oh, we got cards. So let's see. White Sox. They're Bowman's. AJ Puckett. Is that all that's in here? Yep. Two cards. It's an interesting signature. And we got a chrome in there. Yeah. Oh, I sent two different ones. So this one's probably draft, right? Yes. And then this is just Bowman. Which comes out next week, I think. 2018 Bowman. So that'll be interesting to see. Kind of like streak, but is this a baby powder? I don't smell anything. Probably baby powder, though, because I feel like I started doing a lot more baby powder. I don't smell... Yeah, I don't smell any baby powder on it, but it turned out pretty nice. I like it. Thank you, AJ Puckett. That'll be sweet to throw in my autograph card binder. So now to the 8x10. So I have sent out three 8x10 pictures, and I saw that there's, like, better envelopes to use, which I did get those. So this is, like, my first run I guess it would be testing so basically I just bubble mailer and a bubble mailer and then put a piece of cardboard in there hopefully it didn't get bent if this is the picture I think it is it kind of got bent after I bought it oh it is because it's green is it just oh yep it is who I think it is so this is a golfer that I thought was pretty cool But is it signed? Well, there's your face. So, Paige Spriniak, I think is how you say it. Let's see. Oh. Oh, cool. 
is all in there. I don't know, do you have to like prep pictures at all or anything? I don't know if you have to. That's pretty cool. This is like the only picture I could like find of her that apparently she did like some sports illustrated thing. It didn't actually bend. I'm kind of impressed by that. <laughs> I was expecting, like, the cardboard definitely, you can see it's got creases in it. So that bent some, but apparently not on the picture. Though it did, when I did get it shipped, it kind of bent. I don't know. Yeah, like right kind of here. You can kind of see a little, not bad at all or anything, but pretty sweet. Um, yeah, like the pictures, this is like only like one of the few golfing pictures I could find of her. The rest is like Sports Illustrated, and I didn't want to be creep-ass sending her bikini pictures to like sign or whatever so yeah I, I thought that would be pretty cool she's uh she's pretty funny watched her golf some she's pretty good at golfing and uh yeah i was like yo dog i should probably send her a picture and see i don't know if she has like a card or anything like that but i don't know throw this up in a nice little frame this is like the first one i've ever like sent out and then the other two i sent out were to um two characters on the tv show the flash but I'm also working on, I printed these out today, Sandy Alcantara, ooh, hit the camera. I'm working on these today at uh, Sandy Alcantara. These are pictures I took during spring training, so these aren't like the most amazing pictures ever, but I like taking pictures and thought it's cool to see if I can get some of my, the players I enjoy watching to sign, Juan Soto. This is actually kind of a cool looking one. So a lot of like some of these are like the back of the jersey. I wish I could have got their face. Jumbo Diaz. Oh, this one I gotta take to the game to get it signed myself. Cause I saw he played yesterday on the Hammerheads. So almost a year later, he's still injured <laughs> and rehabbing with the Hammerheads. So I want to get him to sign this. That'd be pretty cool, Martin Prado. And then I got some others. We did send to him already, but I want to send him a picture. This is from last year, though, because he's on the Dodgers now. But I guess he is injured, Tom Kohler. And I saw he might not even play this entire year, which kind of sucks because I like him. Lewis Brinson. Um, I haven't seen anyone get anything back from him, so this is kind of shoot-your-shot kind of deal. And then I got two Magnus Sierra, which there you can like see his name. This picture actually came out kind of cool. Like, it's probably hard to tell on here, but the actual picture, the like sunlight is perfect. I don't know, I can't remember if this was like the night game. I think that's the Nationals like kind of jersey there. So like, I think it was like the night game and it's kind of starting to be sunset. And this picture came out like really cool actually. So yeah, I'll probably send him both because I don't think I, I might have one baseball card of him. So I don't know. Kind of doing like a picture and a card. See, uh see what happens with that but yeah thank you Paige came out pretty cool and then where were the we got uh the two AJ Puckett cards so that's pretty sweet awesome okay so a little recap of what we got so we got two Will Crows per sweet Tom Kohler awesome got Two hockey Panthers players, Jamie McGinn and Colton Sevier. AJ Puck, twice, two cards per sweet, like it. Which, by the way, I think I said, I forget what I said in the video when I opened these AJ Pucks, but on the thing I have marked, I sent him one card. I'm not sure which one I sent him, but one of these apparently is an extra that he sent me, so that's pretty cool. Unless at the last minute, I found a card and just um, threw it in the envelope. But then, lastly, our first 8x10 of Paige Spriniak. Pretty cool. Looks like, now looking back at it, I think she, like, maybe had a crap Sharpie. But, like, you can see there's, like, two outlines on the piece. So I guess she, like, tried once and then re-signed it. But, I don't know. 
maybe try again in the future, see if we can get a better quality autograph maybe on that. But still, I'm, re I'm happy with it. That's pretty sweet. And then we also got in one of the other, one of, this was, so I sent out three 8x10s. This is the first one back. I actually just got back while making this one of the, a second one. So there's one more out there. And yeah, we'll be back with some more autographs.